Hi, welcome to Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art today. And um, the, today we're going to learn how to do a superhero. You know, like this guy. Like the Flash. So, and he's pretty cool looking. You can make any hero you want. Like a Mr. Incredible. You could do a, you could do a, um, the Flash. You could do the Captain America. You can do any hero you want. Just change the colors, change the face. So, um, and I have a special guest here. Come on up, assistant. Come on up. He usually helped me with all the twisting. So, and my assistant is a monkey. How can he twist balloons as a monkey? So, um, come on up. Is, come on up, assistant. Okay, okay, okay. This is my assistant here. I have to teach him how to do balloons. All I'm going to do basically is do the markings, right? Yeah. So if I'm going to do the markings on him, we're going to yeah. need black, black, yellow, yellow and red. red. You're going to be doing all the twists on this one. And I'm just going to be asking questions because I haven't, I don't remember how you did this from the last time. Oh, so yeah. So I'm going to be sitting over here learning. And if I don't understand something, can I ask questions? Sure, all you right. bet. You're not going to get mad at me. No, 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 not on okay. video. Okay. Okay. All right. So what you need is um, some balloons here, of course. So what you need is two, um, 260 red. That would be his for his um, triangle piece or his legs. And then a two red 260s for his thighs. And... For his what? Oh, his thighs. His, okay. His thighs. I got it. And then you need... One red 260 for his neck, and one if you can get out of one for his abs, you know, his abs. You can do those all out of one, yeah. Some, I have, sometimes, huh? Sometimes, not all the time, okay. Depending on how much air you put in him. Ah. So, and then you need two red 260s for his forearm up here because you're gonna make them sing. So, and then you need it for the triangle piece because I'm gonna come down like that. Okay. That's how I make that part. So, then you need two yellow 260s for his arms and two yellow 260s for his boots. And the lightning bolts, too, huh? No, that's a two 160 oh. for the lightning bolts. Oh, okay. So, and a one 160 for his eyes, or you can do two. So, and then. Um, so, you got a lot of extra there in case you have pop or shrink and then you need a blush heart for the chin part and then you need a red heart for his um top of his comb <clears throat> and then two red 260s for his mask okay. so that's what you need for a superhero and i have a handy dandy measuring guide that will help me for the proportions because i'm not good with my hands sometimes balloon twisters are and then I have like a sheet of paper telling each body part for his measuring. So I can get the balloon just right. Okay, you got everything planned out. Huh? Yeah. All right. Let's, so. Let's do it. Yeah, let's get on with the twisting. <laughs> so I'm going to make the face first. This is going to be a really tricky head part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a blush heart. Blow it up. And then you measure. That would be four inches for his heart, for his head. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll that knot. That means, and you have to burp it, then you roll the knot <coughs> like so. So you roll it up like that. So you have to like a little um little extra so in case it pop doesn't pop. So you what do you need to do is massage it like this. Can I try the can I try the nose this time? You wanna learn how to do the head? Let me try. Come no, on! I don't, don't wanna do the whole thing, just let me try the nose. Yeah. So you do the other one right now. This I'll, okay. get, I'll get this one massage. Okay. <coughs> I'll do it too much though. Right? Yeah. I'm and just kind of stretching the uh, The latex. Okay. Mini float up in. So now I just squeeze, take the four inch. I just take one of the lobes. Okay, so what do you do? Let me show you on this side. I think I remember. You roll the knot, so like that. It see, it's a very tricky technique to do, Dad. I got a big nose there. Okay, so you just have to fiddle around with 
of it to see how much. Yeah. And then you put the nose between the pinky and the ring finger like this. I did it. That's a trick. He's got, he's got something hanging out of his nose. Just a minute. It's not. Oh, that's disgusting. Blue bar. Okay. So then what you're going to do, you're going to take this knot, okay. and you're going to tie it around the nose. Tie it around the nose. Okay. Yes. Tie, ben, make sure it's tied. Because otherwise the balloon yeah. will shrink. How oh, the heck are you supposed to do that? Okay. It's a very tricky technique. Hearts are not made for twisting like this, but thanks to Ken Stillman who made up this concept because what? it is a good concept. I don't like this. <coughs> so, and we just modified his design. So we did. What did we do? We just um did differently on the body because this came off of the Trojan. Make this real tight on here, huh? Yeah, so it doesn't shrink. Because sometimes on those heart balloons, they do shrink. Yeah, do it. Uh, Maybe not. Is that good? Uh, I think so, but I'm not good. sure. Okay. And this then, goes like this, right? And then, yeah, then you have to make another bubble in the red heart. Here? Yes. Another one? Yeah, because if you look on the back, guys, there's a little bubble like that. See? Oh, mm. really? I gotta do another one? Yeah, that's how you did it in the video a long time ago. But it's just a cool little concept. Then you take the knot. Like that? Yeah, and then you just tie it around the, that knot. Right. Sometimes it creates pinholes. I don't know why you do. So what I'm doing... I'm getting my doing, fingers stuck in there. Twisting hearts are... That is a hard technique. I am not a balloon twister. I know. And then I'm going to take a 160. So I'm getting it kind of... If we pop this, we got to do the video all over again, huh? Sometimes videos do take a lot of tries until you get it perfect. Yeah, this is our, you guys don't know it, but this is our third try. Yeah. We're not supposed to say that though, right? Yeah. Okay, how's that? Sometimes, um, let's see. Here we go, I gotta straighten whoa, whoa, whoa. it out. I know you have to straighten it out. Is that right? Uh, let's see. Like that, kind of? Uh, kind of. I did it wrong? Um, I don't think you did. It, lo it looks like it has an odd shape to it. <laughs> What, what does? Okay, so if you look on the seat. Well, can't you straighten it out when you put your band on? Yeah, you can. Okay. So what are you going to do? Did I do something wrong? No. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get it right there. So that'll be... Because this will be... So that'll be kind of like that for right now. Yeah, because yeah, what I'm going to make and that's next... that's what it looks like there. And that's what it looks like there for right now. And then you're... You don't need... Do you need me anymore? I'm... I don't think so. Okay. Did I do okay? Yeah. Okay. That's the tricky part, okay. guys. I'll put this. Well, I'll put it right here. So now what we can do is Thank take a, a um, you're welcome, a um, 160 red or any color of a superhero. If you're making like a different hero, you use a different color. Like if you were making Batman. Yes, exactly. Batman. Or, the, or the Green Hornet. You could make the Green Hornet out of it. Yes, or, exactly. Or the Incredible. You know the Incredible. So you inflate the balloon about like um, four inches of tail. Okay. So you always have to burp the balloon like so. <coughs> wow. That's kind of weird. It is. So you leave that aside because I'm going to make the mask. You know, they have those hero masks. So you just blow it up like this. Well, hopefully those won't shrink like our last two tries did, huh? Yeah, sometimes with the hearts, it's just weird. So you burp it like this. And then let me tell you how much tail I have. So I have like about four inch tail. It doesn't matter, because what we're gonna do. That's not a four inch tail. You didn't hold it on there, right? That looks like about a two and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <laughs> tie these two. You don't need a lot of this because you're going to make two on each side. That equals four. So. It does? Yes. Two plus two is four. Come on, guys. And you tie these together like the mermaid, like we did in the mermaid video. Then you're going to take this and then you're going to put it in this bubble. Oh. Hopefully it does not shrink. Okay. That's okay. where it shrunk on us the last two. Yes, because sometimes with heart balloons, they create pinholes. Oh. You know, it's like a little, put like a hole in it and it like... Do it, you know, guys. And then you just kind of twist it. And I did it right. And I just twist around like so. That's it, huh? Yes. Oh. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to line this up on the side of the face. So what I'm going to need to do on this part, so I make a little one right here, like so. Like 
about three. Yeah, fingers. that's about three fingers. Three fingers. I didn't measure on his part, but and then I need to make one a little bit bigger because I'm going to show you how to make the eyes afterwards. So, and I'm going to squeeze them. Now, do you take those over to the nose, kind of? Okay. What I'm going to I'm going to show you. Okay. Let, okay. okay. I'll be quiet. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to up and. That me. looks like a maybe about five fingers. Five fingers. On yours, on your little old dinky hands. Every, every balloon twister's hands are different. You try to make each side even, huh? Yes. Okay. So you just have to kind of hug it, and then you just have to. It's it's kind of, it's a good little mask idea that he had. So if I have five fingers there. Oh, you don't twist it in the nose yet? No, I don't even twist it at, at all into the nose. Oh, I thought you there, did. There's okay. a way to do this. All right, all right, all right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, make these kind of bigger because Let me see. I have to like poke the eye through. That looks like about the same, though. Okay, yeah. and then I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to make the little small one on the side of the head. Because there's a reason. I'm going to make this tight. Oh. oh, and the other one was what? Two? How many fingers? I think three. Three? Okay. But on this one, I'm just trying to make it kind of... This is the tricky part. So, I just have to kind of mm -hmm. stretch it over Does there. Does it look the same? The bubble's the same on each side? See, look. Yeah? Yeah, that would look bad. Because we did, we figured out on the last one is four. Okay. So you just have to squeeze these because I'm going to wrap these around this ball. Oh, this. Okay. So, like so. Whew. <laughs> That's a tricky part to do. Because sometimes they come undone, huh? Yeah. And then you just, all, you don't have to twist it into the nose. What I'm going to do is, see that mid twist right here, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Like that? Okay. Then I'm going to do push the nose upward. I'm kind of scooting it down. And so it just rests uh -huh. on the nose. Uh -huh. It right. does not twist into the nose. Can I look at it? Yeah. Let me see. Okay. There, there. Let me figure out four on each side. Okay. That's I, kind of, I kept turning it so it fit up in there a little snug. Yeah. Okay. You can always change the shape of the face a little bit by. Squeeze okay. it. Right, okay. Yeah, you can bring it up. Cool. Oh, okay. Right so there. you have one? Well, I'll stretch it so they can see. Because I'm the assistant. Okay. Right there. So that's what your head supposed to look like. What are these things? Well, uh, that's going to be later because I'm going to use those to tie onto okay. the back of the head, neck. So, where do we put this? So, we can put them. How about right here? Yeah, right there for now. Remember your little dimensions there. Okay. That helps you. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go. Okay. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make his eyeballs. So I'm going to do a 160 um, light. And you just don't need a lot because these are just single pinch twists fit in his eye. It's a pressure fit, guys. Oh, these are the eyeballs? Yeah. There's a trick that I did. Oh, while you're doing that, I'll put the mouth on. So, oh, you make that okay. so I just do a little pinch twist. I always double knot it. Sometimes they shrink. I know balloons happen. Or triple knot it. I don't know. So you just have to cut it off like so. And you have a, should have a scrap of white. You can either use that or a fresh that balloon. Okay? Yeah, that looks cool. And you just I'll need, bring it right here. I take another fresh balloon if you have the scrap, but that's okay. And you just have to play around with the sizes, you know. Oh. Because these are going to be fresh. Fit. We figured out a really uh, cool trick that we learned from. I don't know where we came up with that idea. What? How did we came up with that idea? Dad, on the eyeballs. How did we? How did we do that? Now, how do we came up with the idea? I think I we asked him. He oh. showed us. Okay, how can the monkey show us how to make a balloon superhero? That is weird. No, no, he's not my monkey. I don't even know where he came from. <laughs> and then I'm going to take it, do a pinch twist, 
Like so. Like this. Are you always triple knot it, double knot it? I don't know. So you just stick them in there, huh? Yes, it's a pressure fit. Okay. Because it looks like an illusion of a, have you seen those superheroes with their masks on and they have their eyes poking out? Uh -huh. So what you're going to do, you're going to take one of these, and then you just see this right here? Just open it up. That's why I made it big. Because there's a reason. So you just stuff it in there like so. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a really cool technique. And you do the same thing on the other side. That's why I made these bigger. Because there is a reason. You'll make them too small. It's almost like you're a doctor. You're giving me my balls. Oh, that is so sick talk right there. What? Okay, so his eyes should look like that. Oh, cool. You want me to put some uh, eyeballs in there with the pen? Sure. Okay. He needs his eyeballs to see, guys. So, now, okay, I think we can always add the lightning bolts on later, you know, because that will be the finishing detail, because he has those cool lightning bolts. So now what are we going to do? And then that, I'll start your face. Yeah, that's his face. Oh, okay. It's a really cool thing. So what I'm going to do, all right, let's get onto the body. Ooh. So the first step I'm going to do for the body, we modify, we modify it. So I'm going to take a thread 260 or any cut of her hearing, hear rolls. So and I have a four and a half, four and four inches of tail blown up because this is going to be just his neck. Because I'm going to do something different, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie it. And then I'm gonna make two pinch twists, just only two guys. Like two one inch pinch twists. Like this, just two. Because there's gonna be a reasoning why there's gonna be two pinch twists. Because when you attach the head, you want it nice and snug. Give him his lightning bolts. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of straighten out. So this piece is gonna be his neck. Now I'm going to add his abs. So you, so you take another 260, red or any color that you want, and I blow it up. I want to try to get three out of one balloon. If not, just tie in another one and make a third abs. So you burp it like so. Oh, you thought I was going to burp, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I haven't that. been doing that. That is rude to do that on the video in front of all of America. Oh, very really funny. So now what I'm <laughs> going to do is I'm going to make a uh, huh. one inch pinch twist. Oh, that is helping out then doing that, huh? One inch pinch twist, guys. Yeah. And like so. Because re the reason why, I'm gonna take this neck piece and I'm gonna hold it between my legs as my assistant, you know, my legs. So what I'm gonna do is, we, we made our abs um, symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a, Four, four inch bubble, like this. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it around his neck. You, I mean, you can always scoot him up and down if you want her neck longer or shorter. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line it up like so. And then, sometimes I need my body, I need to make that twist. And then I need to twist that piece into that pinch twist. So now you should have one of your abs looking like this. Oh. So what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna make a spacer bubble. This is what I did, remember. A spacer bubble, not a Pinterest, like a one inch spacer bubble. Then another probably one inch one inch bubble. Pinterest. Because the spacer bubble gets its space. That's why they call them it. Oh, so you can go down to the next ab. Yes, this is like my Slimer, guys. So. Hey, I haven't seen your Slimer yet. And then I'm thinking of. Maybe we should do that sometime, huh? Yeah. That'd and be then cool. we just come up and you just do a symmetrical, just the Mismo, same. They don't know what Mismo is. Mismo, guys, means same. I yeah. learned that. In Spanish. In Spanish. I see. In Spanish. Where'd you learn that? From um, down in Costa Rica. Ah, you've twisted balloons in Costa Rica? Yes, I have, so. Wow. So you just have to kind of 
kind of scoot it up, line it up into that twist. And that looks about the same. Then you just come over like this. And then you just make it so. You just twist into this pinch twist like so. Roll. There's a trick on rolling the balloon. So, so you have two abs like looking like this. So see what I did? I made a space above on a pinch twist. So I'm gonna make one more ab piece. You think you got enough? I think I might. Hey. So if you guys don't have enough, you can always discard this, tie it, and tie it in another one. So then you make a one inch spacer bubble, then a one inch pinch twist. Because that gives it a nice line of bubbles. That's why I do that trick. Then I kind of kind of measure it up. And you might just have enough, huh? Yes. Sometimes I have to squeeze it to get it extra. That's not called cheating? No. Then, then you have to have, you kind of have to line it up like that. And then if you don't have enough, just use the nipple, tie it in there. And you don't have to tie that, do you? Just twist it in there, huh? Well, I'm just trying to hide it so I don't have to. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying. So now your abs should look like this. Ooh. This is how you make the abs. It's a very um, simple way to make them. Can I see something from that? Sure. Let's see if I can straighten those. Straight. Abs out. Yeah, straight. Sometimes out. abs go wonky. Well, so That's okay. Oh, good. Yeah, because it's a new trick that we learned. And you learn. I don't remember how to do this stuff. I don't know how you keep all this stuff in your head. I don't know either. I mean, we have magic. Yeah, okay. Because right. it looks nice. Oh, that's good. That's cool. With this trick on the back, see all those bubbles are kind of nice and tidy. That's what you want. So we're going to set this piece aside. Now we're going to make the triangle piece. Now this is the part we changed a little bit, right? Yes, because Ken Stillman didn't do it like this. So he just take another 260 red with about a uh, five and a half finger tail. You see where here? You hold your end of your balloon. If you want to use it, you have right here at the edge of it, right? So that's about a four inch. Four inch tail. Right. Just make sure you're holding down that measuring line, how I did it for you. Yeah. And then, uh, you know. uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make double pinch twist, like one inch. There you go. Double pinch twist. None of that's exact on there. If it's four, four and a half, it's not a big deal. Okay. It? Right? And then you make a double pinch twist, because this is going to be where the shoulders, the arm's going to go. So, and then I'm going to leave this aside, and then I'm going to take another 260 for, uh, red, blow it up. Oh, this is the triangle. Okay, I yes, see. Yes, this I, is I, the I middle see. part. I see. The triangle. Perfect, like this. <coughs> wow, there you go. Let's get some burping action. So, with about a, um, five-finger tail, then I'm going to make a... One inch pinch twist. You'd make both balloons as close as you could, right? Yeah. Right. And then you just make double pinch twist, like one inch, right. like so. Right. And now this is the tricky part. So I'm going to use my legs to hold this in place. Because I need my hands to be able to twist the parts. Together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it, depending how long your, your shoulder piece you want. So what I did, I didn't do it too long. Okay, I'll kind of hold this one up here. So, so this, this is what she's making right here, right? This part here? Oh, I do have it. Correct? Right here? Yes, okay. because what I'm going to do, that's for his, his neck piece. So I kind of want it like that. Oh, okay. Then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to squeeze it. I also do that now. And I'm going to twist it. Then what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get the correct measurement that I want. So then... I'm going to come down, make it, make it, make it even, just twist, okay. just twist it into this, the elbow, the, the, the pinch twist, I'm rolling it just for safety's sake, then I'm going to come down, and I'm going to eyeball this part. Oh. So what I'm going to do now, I need to make double pinch twists right here, because I'm going to tie these two balloons into that. 
Does it say I want the shape to have like his abs? Or you want that much showing down below? Maybe. Because look at your other one. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. That's about right. Maybe that looks right. Yeah. That would be good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make double pinch this because that's where the leg's going to go. So you let that hang down about how much? How many fingers you got down there? Well, what I did right is... There. What do you got about? Uh, four three, fingers. Four fingers? Okay. One, two, three, four. Yep. All right. So I did a four finger, <laughs> and I just twist it like this. All right. It's almost like the mermaids. So you make double pinch twists, like so. Because there's a reason why I'm mm -hmm. going to put the legs in. All right. I want the legs stable. Just two pinch twists? Yeah, that's right. what I did. All right. And two. And then that's it. Right. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to bring this down. You, can eye, you have to eyeball this stuff because you want it just correct. So I'll twist it into here. Ooh. Like so. And then what I'm going to do with the remainder, I have to make another thing, just like the same thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mirror image like I did the last bubble. So kind of line it up. It's called eyeballing. Just kind of look at it. Yeah. And you just pinch it off. And you just kind of look at it. Uh, see if it's right. I think that would look cool. Yeah. Try it and see what happens. Okay, and then you just pinch. Just in these pinch fists or a balloon right here. Like so. So you have like something looks like this, guys. Then the remainder of the balloon, I just have to go up so I can line it up with the other piece I made. You just have to eyeball it and you just... Oh, and that makes it a tighter look too, doesn't yes. it? Yes, oh, and then okay. you just put in these pinches. Okay. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. Oh. And you just have to squeeze, sometimes I have to do it, and then I just do it like this. Just roll it in there. Roll and twist. Okay? So this is what a torso should look like. You can always pull the labs out a little bit. <coughs> like so. Huh? Let me see. Yeah. Just a little bit, huh? Yeah. Because right. you want them kind of poking out. Yeah, yeah. Because he works out. Yeah. All right. That look good? <coughs> yeah. That looks good. Okay. Yes. Right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get rid of these because I'm going to do the arms separately and stuff. So there's not enough on there to do the arms, is there? No. But not the, one, not the measurements I want. So you have to deflate these. So these wouldn't be something that are good for line twisting. No, right? because they take too much time. The superheroes, yeah. they do. But these are good for like birthday parties, special events. Or deliveries. Or deliveries, yeah. We've done them for that. Yeah, we did. I remember that, that one guy. So. And, and the nice thing about this design. Yes. But is, like we said earlier, you can use them for other superheroes. In a superhero genre. Yeah, you just have to modify them a little bit. You have to right? look at the, you have to kind of go online and see what they look like before you do it. But the same design can be used just about for any superhero. Yes. Except for maybe the, well, maybe even the Hulk. But you just have to do the head a little different. Yeah, the Hulk. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I know who he you was. You'd have to make some modifications for that. Yeah, because... For, for the muscles and stuff. Yeah, because he's kind of big. But this would be good for Batman. Yes, Batman. Rob, Robin. Robin. Yes. Robin was with Batman. Yes, his sidekick. Yes. And uh, what about... Maybe the Joker. The Joker. Yeah, right. You'd have to make the head a little different. Yeah, because he has like hair on top of it. Yeah, but you could do it. I mean, you could do it pretty easy. Just maybe change the head, but use the body. <laughs> or you can make Frozone from The Incredibles. What color is he? He's kind of white, and I think he's blue. Okay. Don't remember it. Hmm. I mean, watch the show for a while. But we're not doing that. We're no. Just, you're just doing. Yeah, I'm just explaining what you can do with this design. Right. So you just cut these off. And this is what your torso should look like. Okay. Looks like a muscle man to me. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's working out. Yeah, so, and then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make his arms and his legs. So 
So this is what I need my measuring guide for. His arms and his legs. And what are we gonna do next? first is blow up at red 260 or any cut up hero you use. And so, how, how, what does your chart say for the arms? Remember you got it written down? Yes, and then for the forearm, that means from the shoulder to the elbow. That is five inches for yeah. his arm. Five inches. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my handy dandy measuring guide <laughs> and I'm gonna do a five, touch it, boom. That's fine. Right. Yeah, it is. Yep. That's about five, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a roll through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line it up like this. Twist it. Pull the knot through like this. Boom. Then come down. Same thing. Just do it like this. And then what I'm going to do is just roll it through. Hence the name, roll through. Well, ain't that a handy little trick. And then I'm going to do... Uh, double pinch just because his arm's supposed to be yellow. See, like you've seen in the movie, The Flash, or the TV show. So you just make two pinch twists like this. Because normally what I make is an arm out of this, but I'm not going to do that for contrast. So you just delete this off. If you were making the devil, you could leave it. Yeah, you could do that if you're making the devil. <laughs> we could. <laughs> so many ideas. <laughs> You just have to wrap it around once and just cut it off. And the nice thing about these Boom. designs here, I think, Nick, is you can take <coughs> any of your other head designs that you know how to make. Yes. You could put them on there. Oh, yeah. So I what mean, I'm going to do, I'm going to set this piece aside because I have to make each part the same. <laughs> oh, you're making another one just like that? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. You got it. You got that from Home Alone? Yes. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to put the balloon and you go to five inches. So, like that. Yeah, that looks about the same, yeah. So that works. Yep. That little idea works for you there. Then it? you just float it over like that. And you just always put the knot through because otherwise it'll come undone. That's just a handy trick, guys. And you want the knot there, too. So you just do it like this. Do it. Roll it through, go like that, double pinch this. Hey, you make it look so easy. I know. Then I'm going to delete this part because there's no reason why to make his arms red. I want the contrast because the contrast always makes good in balloons or in for anything. You know, I and mean, you can do like, if you're making a character with all with one color, that's okay. So, and then you just take it, tie it. So you just have to have these two pieces because this is for his arms, his forearms. And I, and I have two pinch twists because that's where I'm gonna put his arm at. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take yellow 260, <coughs> again, any color, and I just blow it up. Remember, you don't need a lot of balloon, so perfect. And then what you need for the arm is another five, five inch bubble. So you just twist it because this is going to be a, oh, um, there we go. Okay, got a five inch bubble here because this is going to be a forearm. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a pinch twist, like, because that's going to be a spun. So maybe a one inch pinch twist, like so, because that's going to be his hand, where his hand going to go. So for the hand, it's four fingers. So you need four fingers to do the hand, like so. So you just have to kind of squeeze. Check it again. There you go. The key to doing balloons, guys, is the proportions. So you just delete this off. Huh? That's weird. Then you just tie it like so, like this. Boom. And you just have to kind of wrap it around once. You don't want any huge knots. That's another rule of balloon twisting. So you just cut it off. Boom. Then you take the union. I'm going to leave this piece aside because sometimes I need to measure it. So I'm going to take another a yellow 260. Blow it up. And 
tie it like this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do the same thing. Five inch bubble, like this. So I'm gonna do a, pin, a one inch pin twist, like this. And now again, I'm gonna repeat the same step. I'm gonna make my hand four fingers, like about like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it against my chest, and then I'm gonna do it like that. There you go, you got four fingers. You just twist it, and you just cut it off. Boom! Are you guys having fun watching this? <laughs> Me too, I like superheroes, I ain't cool. I want you all real. Boom! Do not cut these knots off because there's a reason why. I'm going to put his arm way right here and he's double pinches. You just have to do it fast. I mean, tight. Like this. Because I want his arms kind of point, pointed. Like an elbow. No, so the arm's supposed to look like this, guys. Okay. Yeah. So you just do the same thing on the other one. Boom. Tie it tight. So the pinches are nice to have because they help stabilize it. So here we go. Like so. So I always leave these knots on here because next, what we're going to do, we're going to take the knots and tie them to these guys. Take it. Tie it. Just twist it around several times until it's tight. And what's nice with these type of arms, kids can move them like an action figure. You're basically making an action figure out of a balloon. See, we can move this, we can move that. So that's one arm. So, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Always keep those knots because there's a reason. You just take it, tie it, like so. I like this these arms, how I do them. They're kind of neat. So, kind of like this. And then you just straighten them out so they look right. Always, you have to always do that with, when it comes to balloon twisting. So, his hands. And his hands. Yeah. Because you don't want his hands looking weird. You can even put a spear or something in his hand. Yeah. Or, or a heart saying, happy birthday. Yeah. You know, to a little boy's name or something. Yeah, yeah so okay. this is what you should guys have. What's your front look like there? There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make his legs. So his legs, I'm going to, again, I'm going to take a 260 red or any color. This is going to be his thighs. You know, the top part with the hip to the knee. So for the thighs, they're a five and a half, five and a half bubble. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna burp it, and I already did that, so I'm gonna measure it, and I'm gonna come up about... I'll be right back. Like this. So and then, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over, line them up, twist them like this, and then put them like that. Then you just do it again, with the same roll through. You squeeze, roll through it. Then I'm gonna put three pinch twists instead of two. Because there's a reason why. One, two, and three. One inch pin twists. Because that's where it is gonna be his boots gonna go. So, and you can leave it like this to add a foot, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut it off. Not gonna do what? I'm just gonna cut it off. Like this. Tie it. Tight knot. And wrap it around. To hide it. Stretch it. Boom. And you know what these are called? What do you think these are called, Dad? I think they're called scrudgies. Or scragglers or smudgies or whatever you got. So now you should have three pinch twists. Because that's going to make the legs sit in there. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other leg because I want to make them even. To blow up a 260 red or any color like I said, 
But any hero, you guys make an out there. I can't wait till they get the red chrome balloon. Yeah, we gotta have those. Those would be cool. So I'm gonna do a five and a half. Okay. Okay, like this. Five and a half bubble. And I just come over like this. It's the same, huh? Is the other one? Is it? Um, I think so. Yeah. And I don't know, you're measuring. I'm just kind of looking. Then I'm going to poke it through like that. Then yeah. I'm going to come down and I'm going to roll through it like this. Yeah. Hence the name. Then what I'm going to do next, take three punch twists. Because that's where my boots going to go. Because sometimes heroes have, have those skin tight boots. Sure, that's the same. One looks bigger. Maybe my eyeballs are wrong. I, I, okay, so we, <laughs> okay, so then I make three pinches. You can always leave it on here if you're making a, not a contrasting color. So that's what I like to do, doing contrast, because it makes them pop. Get it? That's a joke. And then I'm going to deflate that, tie it. Then I'm going to do this. And just go around like so. Just because you have to, then you stretch the scrudgies. Boom. Gone. Then you should have two legs like this. So what I'm going to do next, in the next stage, I'm going to make his feet. Like this. So for his legs, they're six inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure up because it's gonna be his thigh area. Like, okay, and double check. The thigh, you mean the lower part of the leg, right? Yeah. The, the thigh is up on top. Yes. Okay, and then I'm gonna do six inch. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do double pinches because this is gonna be his ankle. That's his ankle. Then what I did for his his foot is the same thing or a little bit bigger. So let me measure. And it's like four fingers. Four fingers and one one finger. So you just have to twist it like this and see the pinch twist. And you delete this because you don't you could make it like a boot like that, but that's what we're not making. To make them thicker, because sometimes you have muscle down. So you deflate this, like this. And you always tie it around, like so. And you just cut it off, boom. And you have to leave these knots on because there's a reason why. I'm gonna set this aside. Then I'm going to take another uh, yellow 260. Blow it up. Like so. Then you're going to do the legs the same thing. Just mirror imaging. Is that right, Deb? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, there you go. Squeeze. Okay, there you go. Let me check. Okay, then I'm gonna do a double pin twist. Not a single one, because this is his, his ankle, not his bum. So you make two one inch pinch twists. But now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make his foot again. I'm just gonna come over and do a four fingers and and Two fingers, one Not. finger. And you just twist it. Just hold it up to the other foot, see if it's the same. Or you can do this trick. Yeah, that yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, you can always, there's so many tricks that you can do for mirror imaging stuff. You can hold it up to the other leg or arm or whatever body part you're making. So you deflate this, tie it, like this, boom, done. 
Try wrap around once because the, the key to balloon twisting is not have heavy knots. So get rid of these. And what are you going to do next? See these knots? Do not cut them off because there's a reason why. I'm going to take one of these his leg and I'm going to put it in these pinch twists. Try it like this. You're basically making another arm, but it's his leg. There's a difference. So, then you should have one leg looking like this. And then I'm going to do repeat on the other leg piece. I'm going to tie it, wrap it around. And boom, you can always tie the knots or cut them. See, you can hide them. So, you should have two legs. Like that. And then I'm going to take the two nozzles. That's why you need the nozzle. This is why you need them. We're going to tie them both together. Like this. Because there's a reason why I'm going to do that. Like that. So now, the, now you're going to take them and you're going to wrap them around these double pinch twists. These can be tricky, but it can be done. Sometimes I need swaggers to help me. So, now I can always force the legs into those pinch twists. Like, like this. You just have to make them one in on each side. There we go. And then you just have to kind of there you go. Now we're going into the middle of the pinches. So they probably stick out like this because there's another trick I'm going to do. They stick out like this, and I don't want them to do that. I want them close together like that. So I'm going to do another trick. You can take a scrap, any a red scrap, because you want it to blend into the legs. So you take it. Do you got any questions for me? No, okay. No, 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 I understand. Okay. So now I'm going to take the scrap, scrap or whatever. I'm just going to hold these together and I'm going to take the, and I'm going to twist it into the pinch twist. Because this is what I, I got this idea from my Trojan. I did a delivery for a graduation person. So, and we came up with a body idea like this. So it's basically the same idea. Boom. Oh, that's right. We made it into a Trojan, didn't we? Yes. It's the same body design oh, as the Trojan. That's right. Except that, we did a few things different. Yeah. This is a, this we, was just a modified body that we came up with. We made sandals on it and stuff. Yes. The right. Trojan. Yeah. So now the leg should look like this because I tied it to it close together, you know, sticking out. So how do you get the body where it's straightened up and stuff like that? What do you do? So that's why the belt comes in play. Oh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, 260 yellow to make the belt, because that really helps it stabilize. So blow it up, like so. Burp it. You don't that'll help straighten it all out, huh? Yeah, because that's why I add belts to my stuff. So, a one inch pin twist, and you just need a double. This is a really cool design. Do you like this design? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> Thanks. All right, then what we did, uh, we wrapped it around towards the back. And so, you make that pretty snug, huh? Yeah, because it's the belt. So, oh, that kind of... and you just wrap it around the pinch twist. Because that helps it stabilize. That's why I like what nice belt, nice things about belts. They help balloon figures um, stand up better. Because when you, balloons, they go all over the place. I say sometimes you need to straighten them out and stuff. So, tight knot, tight fat, wrap. Sometimes I get kind of confused where I wrap my balloons and they come undone. Have you had that problem, guys? Sometimes. And my and my sister cut the straggers too short too. Sometimes. Okay, so now you just have No to... I didn't. No I didn't.
didn't. Yeah, you did. So now you, all you have to do is make sure the back bubble is lined up with the top, with the with these bubbles, like that. So you just have to kind of spring it out. So you have a belt looking like this. So. So you have to look at it, kind of, kind of do it, straightening him out. So that doesn't, doesn't quite look like it looks like you're kind of kicked, huh? Yeah. Well, you have to kind of play around with it. Yeah, okay. Sometimes they do that. Balloons can be weird. Sometimes they don't obey you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that's why latex is a really cool material because it's very flexible. It's like an acrobat, you know? See this leg here? Yeah. Right here? Looks like this might have been, could have been a little longer. Okay. Because it's shorter. Yeah. It's, it's kind of taking it off. Oh. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You do it like that, and you even it up, it brings the body this way. Oh. Right there. It's, uh, it's not bad, though. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. So, what, yeah. what we're going to do next. What we're do is make it look like he's running. Yeah, like, you can pose him. Yeah. For pictures. How's that? Oh, that looks cool. Because like he running. has to run like a lightning bolt. Right, 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 right. So. Like a toy. That's the only problem. We could have made this just a little longer here, like you did on this one here. Yeah. If you did this one, see how these are all the same? Yeah. So that one just a little, it's okay though. It's good. Okay. So speaking about lightning bolts and stuff, yeah. what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take your head that you previously made, and then you take a 160 yellow. And I'm going to make those those six inches. Burp it like this. Wow, even my one sixty dude? That's kind of weird. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a one inch Pinterest because that really helps stabilize it. You gotta have that, right? So, and I'm gonna make it six inches. Yep, okay. I always double check the proportions. Okay, there you go. Then you take this, put it in your hand, use your handy dandy scissors or whatever you guys have, cut it off. Whoa, that's a fun part. Kids like that. They do. It's like a little rocket ship. So you to tighten on, then you just get rid of this knot. Don't cut below it, just get rid of it. Then now you want to do is kink it like this. And then you kind of do it at the same because you're trying to simulate a lightning bolt out of balloons. Or you can do this. Right. There's a trick. There's a lot of tricks to make them like that. You can make two of those, huh? Yeah, I'm going to set this on the side and I'm going to make the same thing. Because this is his little detail piece. Bamboo makes it cool. You burp it like this, tie it, then one inch pinch twist, boom, and I'm going to line it up. Good. Now do you leave that strider on that or do you just twist that around? Well, what I, I'm going to show you how to do that part. Okay, got the measurements. With my handy dandy measuring guide for balloon twisting. So tie it like this. Boom. So I always get rid of these stragglers because the other ones are bloom work. Doesn't look good. So you just do the same thing. Boom. And you just go like this. Do you have to say boom? No, I just kind of massage it like that. So it creates a nice Uniform shape, so you got ears like this. There's bolts. Oh. 
What I'm going to do now, this is going to be the tricky part, because I don't want to mess anything up, honest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up this pin twist underneath this twist right here. That's why you need that pinch twist. Okay, just poke it. There we go. Okay, so now, then you just get rid of the straggler. Boom. Gone. So you got one horn on. Okay. Looking like this. That looks pretty cool. It is. And then what you're going to do, you're going to do the same. That's why I made these four. So I have equal sides. So there should be a space. So now I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it under. Just push it with the thumb. Just poke it. Boom. Because that's why you made that twist. The reason why you make this twist because then you have a way to put the horn so your head should look like that. So. These look like, to me, <clears throat> can I look at something? Yeah. To me, it looks like they should be this one. Oh. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because look at that one. I mean, it's not that in the right way. Yeah. Because this horn's supposed to point back somehow. It's kind of odd design that yeah. they made up. Kind of. Yeah. Those ones look like they go back to them, don't they? Oh, maybe you can do this. I'm trying to be a good assistant. Okay. Because the, the horns, you have to fiddle around to make them what look do you right. Do with these well, I usually cut them off. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. There's, there's no way to do anything like this. Huh? I don't know. I'm just kind of looking. Whoa! Maybe not, huh? I need one of them, but I. Okay. Just, yeah, just an idea. Here. Go, 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 so, go, what go, I'm going to do go. now. <laughs> two balloons because I need a scrap to tie the head to his neck right there because there's a reason we modified that part too because they come into the side and all that. We modified that part when we were looking at his design? Yeah. What did he do that was different? He did, um, he just tied on there. Oh, okay. He okay. didn't have no pinch, nothing. So you just have to make sure this is tied. So, I don't think I just need one straggler, not two. So. But you gotta have three bubbles back there, though. Huh? Yeah, it will make three bubbles once I put it on there. Oh, because so there's already two on there, isn't there? Yes. Okay, okay. That's. Okay. Should I delete this or leave right. it? No, I, I'll take it off. Okay. I mean, it would be good for some ideas, but. Yeah, but not for this. No, not for that one. If you were making a Mardi Gras thing, it would. Yep. You know how you make stuff, you kind of get ideas. Yeah. You know, say, hey, what if we did this? But this is a, this is not that kind of a balloon. This is a... Uh, superhero. A superhero, and i got to stick with the plan. Yeah. And I usually tie these, just in case, like this. Tie the two tails together, you never know with balloons. Is that right, guys? Yeah. Balloons can be not good. Are you going to do it again? Boom. Then, then cut one of them off because you don't need both. Boop, like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the scragger. Oh, and you, I'm going to oh, take... You, you leave a scragger Yes. Oh. So, and then I'm going to take my double pinch foot, turn like that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it. I'm going to leave my hand like that. I just have to get it positioned right. And you just pull it. Oh, man, it looks like that hurts. It doesn't work for him because he has superpowers. Oh. And you put the tie around. You can always oh. train it up later. Look at that neck you're twisting around. Oh. Does have to get on there nice and soft. Oh. So you just cut off the straggler like this. So you don't want his head looking That's like. He's been in an accident. Yes, but the, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna roll these bubbles on the side. So because you want. 
to be able to have three oh. balls in the back because that helps it stabilize. So one big one and two little ones. Yes, because huh? this big one is part of a heart. Oh. These two big ones is part of this. Oh. So this is what you should have. Okay. Something like this. Then you straighten the head out so it looks forward. Yeah. No, okay. you twist his neck. <laughs> oh. There you go. So it's I in the front. Him. His neck is adjustable. Does it, does it go down anymore? Is that, well, let me is adjust that the back bubbles. All right. Because that's, we modified that. I know that. Okay. So, yeah. we should have the soup here looking like this. Yeah, it looks pretty So, good. Um, and my assistant, come on up because he needs something oh. on his belt. Okay. He needs some logo. That so, he, we good. know it's for Flash. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty good. It's kind of twisted a little bit, but actually that's kind of made it look like he's he's kind of running more. Like too. like a motion. Yeah, kind Some of. Some balloons you want motion, yeah, sometimes you like, don't. Kind of like that. Yeah. Maybe this one. Hey man, I am bad. I'm a bad dude. Okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, yeah. I got to figure out what I did. Where, where, oh, there. He's not going to blow up, is it? Okay, I already put these on there. Uh, He's gonna put the this guy on. What am I gonna put on? Let me see. This. What if I don't want to put that on? He has to have it. Oh what does that do? I do not know. I've never seen the show. It's another lightning bolt. Huh? Yeah, it's a lightning bolt. So because when people would know it's for flash. Oh. Uh, Little kids like that stuff too. Huh? Yeah, we do. I don't know if I can get my my circle right this time, but we'll try. We'll give it a whirl. Yeah. We'll give it a whirl. It don't have, hey, stop rocking. That wood. Oh. Okay. So, we're he, getting it. He's putting this belt buckle on, yeah. as you say. Well, who's they? The movie people that created this design. They say that? I don't know how they come up with this stuff, but they sure do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Boy, we are slow at drawing now, huh? It takes okay. time. Oh, oh, this little thing there. Yeah. That's all Sorry. we do. Just this little thing. There's just lightning bolts on his head. Oh, you know, it'd be good on his head too, maybe. What? Maybe we could do this. Maybe kind of give it some more accent. You mean definition? I'll just try to make him stand up more. Yeah, we gotta have the signature markings. That was to look pretty cool. Exactly. Don't, don't make the wood move. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's just outlining. That's always make it good. And then what else he did? Yeah, you want him to have some some snouts? Yes. You do? Nah. 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 Well, he has something on his legs. Oh. He has another lightning bolt on his legs in red. I do. I don't know if you had those in the real thing. I just made them. Yeah, we just did. And what um, my dad deserves every time we twist together at events, guys, we I deserve, he gets a latte. Isn't that right, Dad? Who gets all the money? Me! I get all the money because I get the job. Don't seem fair. Okay. Okay. You can go ahead. Well, wait a minute. Is this guy down far enough so you can show him off a little bit? Maybe. Okay. 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 Show him blow it off. And I think he's done, isn't he? Yeah, he's done. Okay. Now we have two superheroes that are twins. Oh, get this out. Right. So the events is our superheroes that we know how to make. Oh. You can make them any design, any hero you want. These would be great for deliveries. Centerpieces or birthday parties. Yeah. So um, this is, would be a good, great tutorial to learn for any superhero party. Again, this is Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art. And find me on YouTube. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Give me some uh, comments, thumbs up, and subscribe to my YouTube page, which is Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art. You, know, you can find me on Facebook, which is Nicole's Balloon Art, Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art, and you can hire me at Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art at Gmail, at gmail.com. So thanks for this awesome tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoy it. 
So I hope you guys have a great day. And bye, bye.